welcome to my channel UA Studios. Uh, it's been a very long time since uh, I made my last video. It's been like uh, four, five to six months since I made it. So I was busy uh, with some stuffs. Uh, now I'm here, so let's uh, begin. Today uh, I will gonna show you how uh, you can use uh, Link Preview View, uh, which is LP. LP link view which is provided by iOS in in 2019 so let's begin <coughs> here uh, I will add a link here okay and if I click on it uh, get preview I will get uh, this YouTube or any URL uh, preview image title and description right <coughs> this is what exactly uh, what WhatsApp or other uh, social media apps on here or other apps uh, shows us shows the preview of the link right so let's begin I have created a new Xcode project here in which we have MTV controller here so let's add a text field then add a UI view container in which uh, we will add a sub view of uh, LP link view then we will add a button in which by clicking on it we will get the preview of the URLs right so let's begin by creating a, a text view so let's add it uh, let's add a text field here okay so give a left trailing and top container to the parent view okay then give it a uh, left constraint of 20 then uh, trailing to 20 as well okay so and now give a placeholder of Let's add add link here. Then add an empty view which will contain our LP link view. Okay, uh, then give us constraint of center horizontally. Then we will add constraint of top, then leading and trailing to our text field. And then we will set uh, height of equal width. I think I have given a wrong uh, top view so let's change it uh, here let's delete it vertical spacing then add a uh, proportional height just increase its value let's say 0 0.3 okay so now we have to add a button so on which clicking we will get the preview so let's add it
now we will add uh, this buttons this button to the uh, to the container view so we will add uh, vertical spacing at the top then we have to set it center horizontally so right and for this text uh, we will add okay, preview okay so here we have added a preview view then we have a button and a text field to add the link okay now let's create const uh, let's create uh, ib outlets for these views here we will uh, add a ib outlet for this uh, text view so give it a name of link uh, text view and then this will be a link container view link container view then this will be get preview button and let's add uh, action for this uh, button so it will be get preview button tabbed well that's our view controller here now let's import uh, a link presentation presentation here then we will create uh, a variable for our link view so let's create private variable link view lp link view equals in we will be initializing it uh, with then default metadata so here the data into lp link view we are initializing with initial constructor okay so now what we will gonna do uh, we will add this link view to our container view okay so let's do that so here let's create a function it will be a private function with, with add link view to view container okay so since we will be adding it to the view we will add dispatch queue as we are updating ui view so it should be on the main thread so main async okay. then self dot link view dot frame equals self dot link preview container view dot pounds i will explain that just give me a minute self dot link preview and link container view dot add sub view which will be cell dot link view then we will add cell dot link uh, container view so not size to fit okay so what we are doing uh, uh we are setting the frame of the link view uh, and that will be the bounds of link container view okay then we will adding then we are adding uh, this link view to our uh, main container view then we are uh, saying that adjust the size of link container view to the full view that we have defined okay now we will create another function uh, private function fetch preview uh, which will be called when we press the button and its responsibility would be to fetch uh, the previews of the url okay so let's begin that so we will add if let text or text url equals self dot link uh, text view dot text okay 
and let url equals uh, url into string to text url okay so then let's initialize uh, meta provider equals lp metadata provider p meta provider then metadata provider dot start fetching for url so we will add a url here So we will add meta metadata and error. Before that, we will give self. We will define weak self here so that it won't create any uh, So let's handle error if error causes error then we will show we will print it else if let metadata equals meta data then as we need to show it uh, to our UI, so we will add dispatch queue dot main dot async again weak self. Self dot link metadata equals metadata. Okay. So now let's call this add the link view to container. So this will add our link view to our uh, container view. Then on click of get preview button, let's fetch the preview. Okay, so now let's run this project. Okay, now let's run this project here. Okay, so we got this uh, uh, text field here where we can add the link right so i have this youtube link of my last video which was about coordinated design pattern in swift so i have copied that and i will place it, paste it here and if i click on get preview you will see we will get the preview of this uh, very nice youtube video right where we can play this video as well by clicking on it it will be moved to the full view right we can we have